tiny. This is your captain, Brendan. Sending the tender as we speak. Should we drop anchor somewhere else in? Crew's on standby for the go ahead. That's going to be difficult, I'm afraid. Pacific Bluffs, excellent choice. Take your time. What's up, dude? 
I bought a, I bought a yacht. <laughs> I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. Also, I'm really disappointed that you didn't come because last or not last night, bro. But I don't want to talk about it. it. So you don't understand how bummed I am that I can't see them on their final tour. Well, there's because I know I'll I know I'll never get to see them again. Well, we have until December. <sighs> there you have a bunch more tours and airport tour thingies and shit. So I have, I just remembered that I have from Ticketmaster from like a lawsuit. Um, it was a class action lawsuit that happened or something, mm -hmm. and I got an email and they gave me two free tickets to like pretty much any show, as long as it's through Ticketmaster. And it's just been sitting in my account in my Ticketmaster account for like six months, and I haven't seen anything yet. <clears throat> When's their next tour date? I'm gone Christmas. Let's go fucking do it. Oh no, man. I don't know. Let me see. <coughs> we gotta make that up, dude. How good was it? It was so fucking good. Like, my voice right now. Uh, my voice right now. It's not because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> it's because I sang my soul fucking it? horse. Like, I am fucking dead. Like, I'm oh, dude, in the Charlotte, worst North part Carolina, about it. the Fillmore, fuck is that? Like the worst part about it is that I'm not even tired. I'm too mentally amped up, but I want to try to go to bed because apparently I have to go <coughs> move more shit tomorrow. So I'm a little disgruntled by that. They got a lot of fucking shows in the UK, dude. Let's go to the UK right uh, now. <laughs> Shit. Baltimore, Maryland on November 15th. That's probably the club. Philadelphia on November 12th. I would go to New York again. Oh, it's at the PlayStation Theater. That's where we saw the Gazette. Nice. We, I don't know if you know this, but like we go all over the place to see shows, dude. <laughs> like we'll drive eight fucking hours to see a band. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we had a hotel room for that one. We stayed in uh, we stayed in the Intercontinental Times Square, which is fucking awesome, by the way. Yeah. I love Intercontinentals, dude. That's where we stayed in, Do <coughs> in Tokyo as well. Nice, nice. Maybe we should just go to Japan. You think you could save up enough money to go? <laughs> Maybe if I had like. A lot of if you get time, really lucky, no rent to pay. Yeah, if you get really lucky, you can find these like super cheap, like one hundred and sixty dollar two way tickets. Every now and again, they go, like they they have some like that. I've seen them. I saw one just last month for four hundred two way. Keep in mind, oh. I paid two thousand dollars a ticket last time. So when God I'm saying damn. a $400 plane ticket to fucking Japan and back, God you buy damn. that motherfucker, dude. Oh, no, no <laughs> fucking shit, I buy that motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, even if it's for like three days, dude, you're in fucking Japan, bro. <laughs> yeah, and you'll I never want to come back. I'll tell you that right now, dude. You'll never want to fucking come back. Oh, no, I, I don't fucking doubt that. Because I feel like <clears throat> I left a piece of myself there. When I when I visited, <laughs> you and ever since I came soul. back, I'm dead serious, dude. Ever since I came back, man, like I don't really want to be here anymore. Yeah, well, I'm in the same boat. Yeah, like I just want to travel and fucking. I'm all about traveling, dude. Me too, man. Me too. Gotta go on a road trip then, dude. Like a fucking, like a actual fucking road trip. Because this coming year I'll have four weeks of vacation. <laughs> I have a month that I can take off work. But I'm also having a baby, so therein lies the problem. Yeah, probably should. 
Rob. However, should focus on the baby a little bit. <clears throat> However, mm. with how I'm setting up my 401k this year, I'll be pretty much I'll have enough to retire at 45. God my damn, mom, I'm gonna dude. keep working. How are you doing this fucking magic, bro? They match where I work. Oh, my so if I put in fifteen percent, my we'll matches do 30%. too, and I do oh thirty percent. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's like a, it's like two hundred dollars a week. <laughs> that would go in, and then at the end God. of the year, they give you a forty-five percent bonus to whatever you put in in the year. So say I put like ten grand in, I'll almost get five grand in it. We'll get like forty five hundred dollars in there. Jesus fucking Christ! I barely can yeah, get they... fucking eight. Good God! You can barely get eight percent. Yeah, and that's combined. Well, right now I'm only at seven, but technically it's fourteen because they match hundred percent. That's like but stupid. I haven't been able. A couple months ago, let's see, it was June, May. Right around there. Mm. And uh, maybe right around there somewhere. I had to withdraw from it. And they uh, they pr basically stop you from being able to put into it from that point for like a period of time. So I won't, I'm not actually for the past couple months. <coughs> I've been paying on a loan that doesn't go into my 401k. I'm basically... Uh, just paying them back. Hmm. Because when we withdraw, we can only take out half of what we've put in. And I think I took out like, like a couple thousand dollars. I got you. Yeah, so right now it's kind of like stalled. So nothing's going in. Hmm. <clears throat> but I'm still paying money on it. But nothing's going into my fucking retirement, which whatever, but... I had to. I got in. Uh, it was like when my. Uh, I had that all that car trouble. Fair enough. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm eating this leftover pulled pork and fucking ribs and mac and cheese. Dude, it's so good. I had braised pork la on today. So I fucking good. saw it. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so jealous, good. dude. I'm so fucking mad, Joe. You have no idea. Like, I'm so <laughs> disappointed. Like, it was like worst case scenario. I ate some dim sum for you. It's good. Did I tell you what happened, though? You, you I, I, from what I understand, you got like hella shortchanged. They paid me for 12 hours. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> they paid me for 12 hours. <laughs> On a 40 hour work week. That's kind of shitty. Isn't that fucking like just wrong on so many levels? Yeah, dude. It's real wrong. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked. So that happened. So, this yacht that I bought in GTA. Yeah. It has three bedrooms, <coughs> constant ammo. You can change the location of where you want it to constant for a ammo. fee. Like, legit, like, in every room, there's, like, a fucking weapon that you can pick up. Not even joking. I have a fucking bar. I have access to a helicopter, two boats, four speed sharks, and there's something else in here, too. And there's a hot tub in this fucking mm -hmm. thing. That as soon as you step in, you switch into some fucking swim shoot shit. It's so dope. That's dope. It's so so dope. is that from the uh, the criminal DLC? It was the one before executives. Oh okay. If, if I recall correctly. The one where you can like make your own mob and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
But yeah, which I heard was actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then, uh, what else is there? I missed the fuck out of GTA, bro. Playing, uh, like Rockets versus fucking Karuma and shit. And, like, fucking, <laughs> like, all that shit. Yeah, there's actually a couple of like, game modes that I think you'd like. Like, uh, yeah. Lost versus Damned. That's cool. Yeah, the, the adversary modes are fucking awesome. Yeah, and then, um, the motorcycle DLC is pretty hot. Oh, I saw uh, that picture. I meant to say something. But that's that one you showed me of, like, all the mirrors on your bike. Dude, I've <laughs> seen a bike in real life like that. <laughs> it's so it's fucking stupid. It's so goddamn stupid. <laughs> You're all... I've already been through my ship, but I'll quickly fly over to my motorcycle club and you can see the inside of it. Where? And then I'll just upload it to YouTube or some shit. I'll save it. Gotta check all these vendors, man. Fuck. Just jumped on the division. <coughs> man. These ribs are fucking great. Have you ever heard of Dickie's Barbecue? No. I'm not sure if it's like a local thing. It's like they they roast all like their brisket for like fucking like 18 hours before you fucking buy it and shit. Or you go in there and just mm. you'll like tell them what kind of meat you want on your plate and I give you two sides. So like I got I got a half rack of ribs with mac and cheese and baked beans. Sounds good. And Kylie got a pulled pork sandwich with fucking uh, fried okra and baked beans, or uh, and mac and cheese. Mm. And then they have like a bunch of different, well I guess not a bunch, they got like three or four barbecue sauces you can choose from, they're all different. Uh, yeah. like, all kinds of shit, but like, literally if you go in after eight, they're trying to get rid of all the shit that they didn't sell basically, because they, they make it fresh every day. <clears throat> and you can like straight up walk away with like two pounds of fucking brisket for like eight bucks. Jesus. Legit, dude. It's fucking awesome. So like a lot of the time for lunch at work, I'll fucking call them and be like, I'm like, hey, what do you guys got? I'm gonna come clean you out. And then I'll go over there for like 20 bucks. Mm. I'll come out with like bags of food. Nice. Yeah, wait, 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 tell me about this, like, what? <laughs> of course, the fucking... <laughs> 20 soon, bucks bag of food? What? As as, no, I'm talking, I'm not talking talk a bag, food. I'm talking bags, bags Why do of I food. fucking know that as soon as fucking... Yeah, why do I don't food, know about Snoopy this? Snoopy wakes up from the fucking dead from his fucking nap type. I was asleep. I was watching I anime. Was here. I was letting y'all talk that you was talking about... That you wanted to go to the concert, but you couldn't go because this is the last time you won't be able to see him again because they're not going to do that. Fuck up. Did I, did I <laughs> I've been listening the whole the time. <laughs> I don't give a fuck because y'all think I was sleeping. I'm trying to prove that. <laughs> fucking I didn't say I didn't say you were sleeping, bro. I, I, I know. I'm just there. saying. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. I've been here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You trying to play some division, Snoop? <laughs> Um, sure, in a bit. What are you watching right now? Um, the Green Mine Hollow. Fuck yeah, bro, that shit was good as fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge D Gray Man fan. I was really, really pumped that they brought the anime back for another season. Because, like, it's yeah. been forever. <laughs> uh huh. Forever, dude. Oh my Man, god, I could have been at that show instead of at work tonight. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, like, just getting there was a pain in the ass, dude, cause, like... Dude, every time I drive in Chicago, it's a pain in the ass. Cause I always hit it at, like, 3 p.m. rush hour, dude. Yeah, but 3 p.m. rush hour is, like, nothing compared to today. Like... Well, yeah, you said they had that parade, so... Yeah, the uh, Cubs it's parade. It's probably pretty shitty. Like... Just going down State Street to get to Monroe to Randolph took me about an hour. <laughs> Just that's like one city block. <laughs> one block. That's that's disgusting. Yeah. 
I mean, I had like plenty of time because I, I left at twelve. Probably would have killed myself. Like I left at twelve, and I was too busy, like you know, just watching shit occur. So I yeah, <sighs> that's fucking <sighs> dude. So I had no concerns with it, but it was just like getting there it was a pain. In did the you hand. see? Did you when you went to the the House of Blues? Did you see the water walk right next to it? The water. Oh, you mean the thing yeah. next to the river? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't see that. Okay. We went down there because I heard it was like cool as fuck or whatever. Mm -hmm. There was like 400 homeless people down there. I'm not surprised. We literally turned around and walked right back up the stairs. I was like, nope, not getting robbed today. <laughs> it was like legit fucked up. Yeah, like I... Like I... Basically, my day was I drove there, and then I just basically waited until I basically waited until like one or two, and then I got lunch, and then I waited in line for like three hours, and then you know after I waited in line for three hours, I was it cold? What? So was it cold? It, it was a little, it was a little nippy, but you know, mm -hmm. I was fine with it. You know, I had no issues with it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then I kept moving around because I kept trying to like get a good spot. And then I kept like wanting to get drunk, so I kept on going back to the bar. And each time I went to the <laughs> bar, I kept on They're so expensive, bro. Me. Yeah, but it was, it was okay. Like. It could have mm -hmm. been a lot worse considering what it was. And Yeah. It's like seven bucks for like a tiny cup. Yeah. And then, you know, I just fucking I just kept going through it and then And then, you know, well well I had a bunch of angry orchards and then three one two wheat ales and then a couple of Vegas bombs and then a couple of uh a couple of other things. And, uh, Holy shit! I'm sorry, I'm listening to you. It's just this mod's really good. <laughs> and then, <God>. uh, <laughs> you're, you're, good. you're fine. And uh, it got to the point where I got really drunk. And then, like, there were two. There were two um, opening vans, and. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm pausing for a little bit because I I named my motorcycle club to fuck boys, <laughs> but I spelled it P H U C C B O I Z. <laughs> Anyways, and um, I got you know I got naturally super drunk, and I decided let's go eat a fucking personal pan pizza because why not. And then, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> and then at that point, I shared this pizza with this girl. And then, uh, and then afterwards, I uh, made out with her a little bit, and that was nice. And then the show actually started, you know, with yellow card and shit. And um, word. And then they played a bunch of stuff from When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, their new album. Mm -hmm. They uh, played some stuff off of Ocean Avenue. Yeah, They played this really old there. one that I haven't heard before called October Nights. And they did that acoustic. Oh, that's really old great. as fuck. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then it got that's to the point where I finally managed to like get to a position <clears throat> to crowd surf, and I fucking crowd surfed for the first time, and that was fucking whack. Like a bunch of sweaty hands all over my. Oh body. yeah, like, that's that's not. I mean, yeah, it was fun. I could have. I, I totally would have told you like not to do that. <laughs> well, uh, <it laughs> just was because funny, of like the groping thing, like it's yeah. fucking weird, dude. Well, yeah. It's well. awful when girls do that shit, bro. Like they get felt the fuck up. Yeah. Well. Either but way, I, mean, I just you know. I, I went and did that and it was fun. I liked it, you know, for That's what cool. it was. And then uh 
afterwards and made my way to the back and then you know I just sang the rest of the songs and screamed my fucking lungs out and I'm surprised they didn't kick you out for crowd surfing dude no during, there was like a bunch of during gray show they they did you know they there's a bunch of people that were doing that mm -hmm. <coughs> and it was pretty good I liked it <coughs> like and then, um, when we went to see and then afterwards uh they ended it with Ocean Avenue, which is, you know, great. Oh, for real. I wanted yeah. them I wanted them to play Fields and Fences, but you know, they they weren't gonna do that. But then afterwards I um I went ahead and I went to the back and then I got a bunch of water and some Gatorade and I sobered up in a pretzel. And then, yeah. you know, by the time the concert ended you know, I was downstairs, you know, getting ready to go, and then I forgot, you know, I'd already gotten my, like, valet thing set up, so they were bringing my car around, and then I basically told them, can you park my car somewhere for a little bit so while I get merch? I went back upstairs to go get merch, line literally circled around the entire bar, <laughs> like, the main bar. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> Well, so that was a bad I, idea. So I literally just went over to the merch thing. I just looked at what they have, and it's just concert-specific shirts, which, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. But like, like, do you have to have it type shit? Yeah, but, you know, I could, I would, I would just rather go online and buy, like, a hoodie yeah. or some shit. It's not going to be, like, do. like, you're 30, and somebody's like, oh, sick yellow card final tour shirt, brah. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm already wearing a yellow card final tour shirt, but it's whatever. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. It's not like Led Zeppelin, like, fucking 74, like... <laughs> exactly. And then, you can sell you know, the shirt for, like, 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, at that point, I just decided, you know, it's time to go home. And then, like, for whatever reason, they're still blocking off roads in the middle.